the entrance antiphon. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you and blessed will you be. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today is a special day. It's May 1st, and we have many, many things to, um, to pray for. Uh, the very first one today is the, uh, the first day of May, the month uh, dedicated to um, the uh, Blessed Virgin Mary, as uh, May is the, uh, the month of, uh, as uh, Mary is the uh, Queen of, uh, of May. So uh, we remember her during this uh, whole month and uh, dedicate for her. The second one, May 1st, is also the, uh, uh, the day that we honor uh, St. Joseph, the worker. Um, we join with the, uh, national, the uh, Universal Church to celebrate uh, the memorial of St. Joseph, the worker. Today, we also have many children in our parish receive the First Communion. So right after this one, we will have a couple of ceremony um, to help them to receive this wonderful sacrament so we continue to pray for them. And uh, uh, lastly, uh, we also remember all the mass intention for t uh, today. It's for uh, Father Grisman, Vest family, the North family, baby Johanna Harris, Joseph Gon Gonzalez, J.P. Suarez. We also remember the repose of the soul of Jerry Palabia, Armando Ladan Sr., Howard Allen Batch, and Bill Parson. With those in mind, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves for this sacred miseries. He was sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, Graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the work you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air and the cattle, and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. <clears throat> God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also see, said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant over all the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed, since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing 
God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday not that it is past or is a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us, to be, teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of your hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and glad gladness all our days. Let your work be seen for, our, for your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation who bears our burdens. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in the synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where does this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brother James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. At a school gate, um, there are may, uh, many um, mothers just stay there and waiting for, to get their children uh, after school. And also there was a lady uh, who um, just stay, uh, just walk around to clean up all the trash and uh, wet the, the, the floor. So when the children come in now, uh, one mother just, uh, just, just get her child and just tell her child, look at that lady, you need to study hard. So, so in the future, you're not going to be like her, just like a cleaner. When the other woman just turn and, and, and tell her child, look at that woman. You need to study hard so that in the future, you may have the authority to help those people like her with full respect and with full recognition. Sometime during our life, we just look at other people according to their physical appearance about the social frame, and we start to judge them and put them in some way that we may respect or not respect. That's what happened to those people in the uh, gospel today when they just already put Jesus in the low class and don't even just want to listen from him. They start to offense of him, and therefore he may not have any mighty deeds for those people in those regions. How about us? Sometimes, do we realize that because of our judgment, 
because the way how we look down on other people, we may not have love in our heart anymore. We don't even have an, a peaceful mind when we when we live with other people because we do not respect them when they just a worker. Please stand. As we continue to celebrate the Easter season, we offer prayers and thanksgiving to the Father for our Holy Mother Church and for the needs of all her children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for leaders of nation and all whom they serve, may the grace of God lead them in all they say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those struggling with indic season, may the Holy Spirit help them in seeing clearly the path God invites them to walk. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all of us gathered here, may, they, may we be given the courage to follow Christ whenever they lead us. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they find eternal rest in the loving arms of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For those children who received the first communion today, may God continue to stir up their spirit and have them walk in the journey of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. And for some special intention that we silently keep in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us your son and raising him from the dead, giving us hope in you. We ask this as we offer you today through Christ our Lord. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruits that divide and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O oh God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gift we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Live off your heart. Make a thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and trust our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord's Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you feeding praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you, as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and sat at a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, 
who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtue of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exhortation. May our voices, we pray, joy with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child from once more, giving thanks, and gave us to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to your have also worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Home we will pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into, into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Calvin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. And mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called as your eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a savior command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as well await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Dear Jesus, come into my heart and be with me today. The communion antiphon, whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him, alleluia.
let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the sight of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruits of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who prowls about the world, seeking the rules of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Must stand it, let us go in peace. A prayer of strength and protection for priests and religious. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. The mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet the love of the Lord stands. As a shelter of all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Could the Lord ever leave you? Could the Lord forget your Yet the love of the Lord will stand As a shelter for all who will call on His name Sing the praise and the glory of God Should you turn and forsake Him He will gently call your name Should you wander away from Him He will always